Good morning, Libras, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay? So, Libras, what I like to do is to go on and just give you your Part C of your Fertility Adoption Reading, okay? And with this reading, ladies and gentlemen, I like to show you what your outlook is. I'm going to examine your past and see what you may have experienced and see what the future may hold or entail for you in terms of pregnancy or, in fact, adoption. Rest assured, Libras, that this reading, as with any reading, may not and will not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking so that you can make your best informed decision. Okay? Today, I like to use my Petite Lenormand's deck in order to convey your reading. If it resonates with you guys as we go through it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you like to, to share. And be sure to just take a few seconds, Libras, and just tap that subscription button. Okay? Libra, once again, I certainly hope that you're enjoying your birthday period. Okay? So, Spirit, what messages would you like for me to share with Libra in regards to the, their fertility issue? What messages would you like for me to convey here? What messages, Spirit? What messages? Okay, Libras, let's start off by just examining a few cards that fell to the bottom of the deck here. We have the Lady. Okay. I'm just going to select three cards here. We have the star. Okay. And we have the ship. Wow, Libra. Okay. So, I'm certainly seeing someone well-known involved in your situation here. I see you. It looks like with these, what these cards are indicating here. Okay, I kind of see you feeling as if your ships are coming in with, you know, with these three cards, ladies and gentlemen. I see a very auspicious turn of events for many of you. And I see that many of you appear to be very optimistic about your chances. And rightfully so, because the cards show you either conceiving or, in fact, adopting and they show a very, very successful pregnancy this time around here that I'm getting, okay? There is also, it seems, that is, is a po strong possibility that the, a female might also assist you during this time, or perhaps you may have a, doc, a female specialist who might come into play here, okay? Or, or who might prove to be important during your process, okay? I also see, you know, for many of you, I see you recovering if you've been previously injured and you're just being hopeful and you're wishing and you're trusting, I'm getting, for the best here with these cards, okay? So, I'm kind of feeling to, you know, very strongly, ladies and gentlemen, that in fact, changes are in fact coming, okay? You can expect that. For some of you, you might even be relocating. Or if it's not relocating, you might decide to change doctors I'm getting. Okay, so that your dream of adoption or pregnancy or you may go to a, another adoption agency. All of that is inclusive of these cards here. All right. So now let's go on and just take out a few cards, ladies and gentlemen, to examine what you might have already experienced in your past or what you might currently be experiencing here. Okay, I'm going to select four cards here. We have we have the cross, ladies and gentlemen. So this, of course, is a very type, it's a hardship type card. Okay, we have, wow, we have the fox. Okay, and we have the mountain. Let's select one more card here for your past. And we have the house. 
Okay. So let's go on and take a peek at these cards, ladies and gentlemen, to try to get a sense of what spirit wants you to know here. Okay. As soon as I picked them up, I felt a lot of pain. Okay. So in the past, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that, you know, I feel that it appears you experience much grief and agony I'm getting in regards to this situation. Okay. Even regret for some of you. You felt tremendous pain as it appears, ladies and gentlemen, that for some of you, I feel there was, looks like it was a blockage to you conceiving or perhaps a blockage or something got in your way of adopting here, you know, perhaps the time, you know, really wasn't right at the time here to either adopt or, or succeed or conceive. Or quite plausibly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing someone who suffered from either an atopic type pregnancy or some type of a tubal type pregnancy that I'm getting here or I'm seeing, okay? Which it looks like it really crushed the spirit, okay? And... It's also quite plausible too, ladies and gentlemen, that some of you may have had an issue that the doctors really couldn't diagnose, I'm kind of getting. And because of it, you might have had to, you know, change specialists, I'm getting, or you might have to change specialists for those of you who are pursuing in vitro fertilization. Just a second, let me get this light here. pursuing in vitro um, fertilization here, okay? And, and I feel that th this whole situation here kind of caused you to, to feel a bit stuck. I'm getting. And this seems to be due to your sadness, I'm getting. Many of you kind of spent time alone or either this caused you to, to spend a lot of time in bed, I'm getting, Okay? But even though this experience, ladies and gentlemen, was very, very tumultuous, I'm getting, you still remain very optimistic and you felt you still had a strong, well, you fit or you presently feel that you still have a very strong foundation to make this happen. And you feel that there still is hope. OK, so I'm so sorry for seeing your future like that. But let's go on and just move on, ladies and gentlemen, and just see, I mean, your past, what your future might entail here, okay? Because, of course, your bottom energy is saying that something positive is about to come about. And usually, when you're seeing the star here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the wish card. So you can rest assured things are going to go in your favor here. So let's select some cards for the past, I mean, for your future here, we're going to go in and select four cards here as we did with the present. I mean, the past. We have, wow, we have the garden. Okay. We have the book. We have the bouquet. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, these are some very, very good cards here. And we have... The anchor. All of these are very, very positive cards, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, I just like to let you know that if if it's not you actually, of course, you're not the one that's conceiving, but it's probably more than likely you may be dealing with a female that's kind of going through these issues. So just to show you how this could relate to you as well. But in any event, I'm seeing here what's coming up for you guys in the future. I'm seeing a natural birth, a birth with no complications. I'm seeing you guys carrying this child to full term. I'm also seeing, too, because of perhaps the problems that many of you had in the in the past here. I'm seeing that some of you are even taking classes or you're just, you know, just just buying all these books to kind of help you learn more about your issues and to include in vitro fertilization for some of you, okay? 
I'm seeing you're having a very beautiful child, ladies and gentlemen, one that who is very intelligent, one very reliable, very beautiful child. OK, but one who is very energetic and very active here. OK, I'm also seeing, too, that your mother, whether you know it or not, she's going to have a I see her having a surprise baby shower or I'm seeing a female doing that for you or planning that for you. OK, so everything certainly looks beautiful. I also see that some of you might even work with children here. It seems like the winter months are going to be. The most promising months for you guys, I'm kind of getting here. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys in the way of your fertility reading. Okay. What I like to do now is just to leave you with one message from spirit. Okay. One message using my postcards here to just give you a message to more so empower you through this process. Okay. So spirit. Please give me one more message to share with Libra in regards to their situation. Libra, this reading is valid until the end of this year. Again, be sure to give this reading a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit. And take a few moments to press that subscription button. Okay? So, Spirit, what final message would you like for me to convey to Libra? What final message? Okay, give us a good one, Spirit. All right, let's see what it says. All right. Dearest you, let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday moment-to-moment -moment experience? Thinking you will find happiness out there somewhere, someday. So many go chasing a magic it out there, but it never could be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside you. Joy and happiness and fullness come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, enlighten it in your heart so that you can share it. You must know this so when the time comes, you will be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful, even for tears and loss, for they mean you, Libra, have lived really lived. Jump into it all and love every minute. We all love you like crazy over here. All right. So Libra, this is the message that I like. To this is the message that I have for you today. Again, if it resonate, is it, if it resonated, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. And if you'd like to have a more personalized reading, you can go right on over and access my website or you can send an email to one of the email addresses identified within the description box. Do have a blessed day, Libras, and once again, happy birthday. Thanks a lot.